official mountain bike season is here. The first race of the season is just around the corner. Am I ready? No. Nope. But here we are, two weeks to get race fit and intensity is about to ramp up. So I thought I'd bring you along on the journey. Now, two weeks is definitely not enough time to hit like a full peak. But the plan with my coach was to extend the endurance phase for as long as possible as this is going to be my first proper season after getting back into cycling so I said I just want to race as much as possible get as much experience so to try and avoid burnout we're leaving this late and I will peak probably like a month or so into the season as opposed to for first race and then burning out after like two three races so i'm not going to be like peaking in two weeks but i'm going to be getting the body used to absolutely hanging out the plan is to try and do most of my training off-road the sessions i can't do off-road like this morning's i've got a vo2 max session i'm on the mountain bike I'm gonna hit the effort on the road and then go off-road after just trying to get as much exposure off-road you have different cadences and it's harder to get a rhythm practicing my single track stuff but today's savage session I did do this a couple of weeks ago it's eight rounds 90 seconds at vo2 max 30 seconds recovery I done it at 350 watts like two or three weeks ago i've now got to do it at 380 watts i'm slightly concerned but we're gonna get into that but one thing is for sure shorts today was a terrible decision it is freezing but we're gonna get into the efforts and then we can go off road Only one word to describe that VO2 max effort then. Horrendous. It was bloody brutal. Like I went, I was trying to pop all of the little blocks up on the screen now. I went out super champion, as always. And I just had to auto-regulate. I got like three efforts in. I was hitting the 380s and I was just like, I'm going to fall off a cliff and not even be vo2 max if i don't wind in a bit so i think my lowest effort was 350. my legs were just really struggling with that repeated high end effort and the 30 seconds recovery was just like going in the blink of an eye but that is why we're ramping up now but that's brutal bit out of the way and now on to some fun off-road stuff is session number one of the two week block up to race day complete and ended up having a good old smash with the old man after I'll pop the full workout up. You could have got that VO2 max session done in like an hour and a half, but I was trying to get some extra time on the mountain bike as well. We've done a fair amount of climbing, so just getting used to climbing. I've done a lot of road riding over winter just to try and get zone two work done. So getting the climbing in is completely different when you're off road. You can't get into that nice cadence like rocky climbs, stuff like that. It's an absolute game changer so working on that so we've done a load of climbing today a good session that's session one done it's time for recovery now and we have got some mega donuts this week 
So of course, cakes win races. Obviously, I didn't hit the efforts perfectly earlier. And in the past, I'd have been like down and miserable about that. But to be honest, now I've sort of changed mindset. I gave it what I had on the day. Legs didn't have it. And I just enjoy getting out riding my bike. So that is day one done. Donuts about to go down. I think we're going to start with... Mmm. Chocolate on the inside as well. That is naughty. These are going to slide down and I'll catch you tomorrow for day two of the two weeks to race day. <laughs> Day number two on the road to race day and of course we're back out on the mountain bikes and today's training partner is the rocket the first spin off road on the new whip and I've warned her this week do not make me look silly it's just a general endurance ride and we're riding together yet every time she gets to a climb she bangs it in bloody turbo and puts me in a hole. It's a nightmare. So today's session after a tougher one yesterday with the VO2 max efforts, just getting some general endurance in and trying not to get carried away when she goes absolutely ham up the hills. I'm trying to stay like endurance pace. How is the new whip handling these off-road surfaces? Great brakes. She bloody uses them downhill. I've never seen someone go faster uphill than they do downhill. It's madness. she goes there she goes again you can slow down now <laughs> i'll tell you lethal when there's a climb you have to tell her to rein it in what a girl look at her go left this is what i do on the climbs now block the single track so she can't get past me now who's the real winner? Look at me. Champion. Here we are, today's little picnic stop. Got a little log to sit on. Nice view. The worrying thing is, she's the one with the motor, yet I'm carrying the bag with all the food in. And there it is, today's snack, hot cross bun. This is what it's about, ride for the buns and cakes. <laughs> playing domestic roll up this climb give me a wheel i'm at 300 watts i ain't got much more just slow down what are you on e oh, the pain i have to put a camera away <laughs> the final climb to tackle i've said to the rocket can you just go slow and ride with me up here her response, I can't, the bike doesn't allow me. <laughs> You're having a laugh, just go a bit slower. I'm hanging out. How are the legs feeling? It's starting to ache a little bit. Starting to ache? You've got a bloody motor. Done three hours. Done three hours. <laughs> that is session two coming to an end, just rolling down the final descent. The rocket absolutely smashed it that's probably like your first proper off-road ride isn't it like single track with like up the climbs she's an absolute smasher we've got some work to do on the descents but in no time she's going to be on red bull tv smashing jumps and the lot but what a ride i'm mega impressed that 
she smashed that out we got like a thousand meters of climbing in as well so just still getting used to hitting the off-road climbs loads of climbing in the legs but that's two days in the books 12 to go it's not all about the hard interval sessions you still got to get your endurance working and it's great fun now being able to do it with the rocket so mega ride mega impressed with some of the stuff she rode today we're gonna go and hit up the recovery hard now after four hours on the bike and i will catch you in the next video for session three on the road to race day